Ms. Herrera Butler. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Mr. Secretary. The, I'm going to follow along the same lines of the Small Business Lending Fund. I have some real concerns. I mean, I've had, whether it's been small businesses who have said, hey, look, this is one of the only games in town, or I've had several community banks and credit unions, credit worthy, right? I had a, a, a bank fail in my largest county. So I'm, I'm learning the difference here. Uh, we're talking about credit worthy financial institutions who've come in and said, can you help us with treasury? We can't get a response. That was in my first couple of months here. You know, as, as it's drug on, we're now at six months plus, mm -hmm. And as we communicate with Treasury, we get told we hope so. So when I when I filter through kind of the answer I heard you uh, give the ranking member, had to do with um, you know getting approval through a primary bank supervisor and then an independent review. The correct I wasn't here, so please do correct me if I'm wrong. But I I thought the whole purpose of getting this small bit of cash infusion to those small community banks to get out to small businesses in a short term was the goal. What is happening with the money, and can you give us a time a time guarantee? Because it should not take this long. Well, uh, I, I wish it were otherwise, but uh, we're doing what I think you'd want us to do, and you'd expect us to do, and you would hold us accountable for, which is we are being careful with the taxpayers' money. Uh, if you think about U.S. banking system today and community banks today, they fall roughly into three categories. There are banks that are very strong, we are very careful, mm -hmm. can go raise capital, and uh, therefore can expand their lending to their customers on their own, have no interest in coming to the government for help. There are a lot of other banks who got themselves way underwater, lent too much to commercial real estate or in sectors affected by the crisis, innocent victims of the recession, mm -hmm. who may not survive, don't have enough capital, and we cannot justify uh, helping keep them alive. Yeah, and now, let, But then there are banks in the middle who this program can help that are viable, can't raise capital on their own because those markets are still much more intent about lending to banks given the, given the crisis. But we, can, we think there's a good way to, responsible way to reach those banks, mm -hmm. but they will not uh, protect banks from failing, a lot of banks from failing, and there are a lot of banks that would like this capital that will not be eligible. I wish it were different, but the reason why we are a little behind schedule is because we are being careful and because the regulators are being careful, and that is what you would like us, that is what you want us to be. Well, with that, I, I think you are right. There are going to be banks who are, are still teetering, right? And Washington State's had a, a, were fourth or fifth, I think, in terms of bank closures. Um, but again, I'm not talking about, the, and we had Washington Mutual, I'm not talking about a big bank that made a lot of these uh, risky loans, right, got into the subprime market. I'm talking about community institutions, Heritage Bank in Olympia, uh, uh, IQ Credit Union in Vancouver. I'm talking about financial institutions who have weathered this, continue to weather this well, and cannot get a response from Treasury. Well, again, we will be as responsive as we can uh, and we will be as clear with people about if they don't meet the test, the regulator's test or our test, we will make sure it will, we are them. But just a little, little context without commenting on the specific banks you, 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 you mentioned. You are right to say that in general this was a crisis not caused by small banks. But it is also true that if you look at small banks across the country and run up to this crisis, a very substantial number of those banks got themselves very, very exposed to commercial real estate as a share of capital, therefore very, very vulnerable. Absolutely. And it's, it's hard for any of us to, uh, any of you really, or even me in this context, to, to know. Let me uh, reclaim my time really quickly, because I recognize there were a lot of banks who got out over the tip of their skis. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about credit-worthy institutions who cannot get a response from, from right. the Treasury, but, but from you, your but, office. Right. Uh, let me finish. From your office on wh whether or not they are approved or not approved. Oh, no, no, they'll, they'll, get that, they'll, they'll get that response. But again, the reason why uh, people haven't heard from us yet is because we depend on the regulators to review these applications. Mm -hmm. We don't even see them until they get meet that review. When they see them, we look at them. And we'll make those judgments as quickly as we can. But uh, again, none of you, I hate to say it, are, will be in a position to make a judgment independently on your own about whether they're viable or not. That's a judgment that you need to leave to, and the law is designed this way, leave to the checks and balances we've set up. Let, let me, the last couple of seconds. Well, then, if, if this turns out that of the banks um, that maybe we can't judge as credit worthy, uh, or the credit unions, institutions do not do not uh, meet your criteria. Is that money going to then be returned 
Oh, I mean, well, the, what the, the happens way, to that money if we're not way, lending it and it's not getting to small businesses? The way the law of the land works, um, if there is money left over, meaning there, there's not eligible institutions mm -hmm. uh, come on a scale to use all that money, then that money is left to the Congress to choose what it, what it wishes to do with that. It, it can't be used. We can't use it. And you can make your own judgments, and this committee should take a look at that. What would be a better use of those, uh, uh, those, uh, those uh, funds? I yield back. Thank you.